Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Well, a happy 2022 to all of you. I hope you have a fantastic year ahead with good health and well-being and prosperity. And uh, I apologize for not being able to do the Oracle card guidance in the last week and uh, for missing out on an energy forecast. I'll get back on that as soon as I can. I've just um, had a break, much needed break, and I'm very happy to have uh, taken that time out for myself um, and I'm back at work now and so I'm going to be uh, more regular with the weekly oracle card guidance and I'm going to do a few more energy forecasts and some of those picker cards which I didn't manage to get across to you at the end of last year I'm going to um, finally do them now in January and February and uh, hopefully more uh, towards the end of last year it was really busy here and I, I was very busy with with clients and with healing work and it was very intense and uh, at the end of the year I just needed to just stop everything and to have a break and some time for myself and my family and so um so that's what I did and so I just you know there came a point when I just couldn't do any more uh readings and um do any more anything actually I just put off my phone and I kind of disappeared for a while which is great um, anyhow it's been great for me I had a wonderful holiday um, in Namibia and uh, it was excellent the energy there is great I was able to tap into some really amazing very old pristine energy and uh, and do some healing work from there as well which is great and uh, yes and then I'm changing up for those of you who are clients I'm changing up the offerings in the upcoming year I'm going to be doing less psychic readings and more healing work um, for the moment anyway and I'm just going to be offering one option as far as readings are concerned and that is a two-hour psychic reading um, clairvoyant tarot uh, type reading and, and and the rest of the offerings are going to be healing work clearings uh energy type work and so if you are interested in getting a reading with me go ahead and book one before um i change the website which will probably be in the next two weeks or so and uh change the offerings on the website and um and then the other thing is that for those of you who have booked, who have paid, and if I've not gotten back to you as yet, uh, just bear with me. I will get back to everyone during this week and uh, I will uh, book you in before, within the next two to two and a half weeks. All right, so let's get on with the reading. We're using the plant, the Druid plant oracle uh, this week. And I have three options here. Option number one, two and three. Go ahead, make your selection, and let's get started. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're using the Druid Plant deck, our uh, Druid Plant Oracle. We're asking what is the Oracle weekly Oracle card guidance. That seems to be correct. And we have the card Mistletoe here. So I think it's a, it's an interesting opportunity here. They're interesting. It feels to me that when this card comes up for you, that there are interesting opportunities for you and you just have to be willing to take them. There's a renewed energy here. There's renewed opportunity. There's a sense of the ending of winter for you and the beginning of spring, regardless of which hemisphere you are in. And a sense of being able to uh, cut away that of which doesn't belong to you anymore and just basically spring forward into the future um, and even though there may be inklings of darkness or inklings of things in the past or some kind of dormancy that is still in your life in some kind of way um, there is this card is a signaling of some kind of opportunity that's coming up for you to begin something new to try something new to take advantage of a particular moment in your life and to be able to grab onto that and take things forward. I think also that, um, as I say, there might be remnants of some kind of sadness or some kind of something in the past, but that is just all in the past. It feels to me like the past becomes very much in the past, you know, like something that happened yesterday or a week ago is really it stays there it doesn't travel with you in the future because as you go ahead in the future there's just a lot of fresh life and energy a lot of 
uh, like fresh vibrant energy and you might not feel that uh, so you might not perceive that so so strongly at the beginning but as you move ahead as you go along you're going to find that there's a lot of fresh new vibrant energy just waiting for you to to dip yourself into it and to yeah to enjoy it I think also that if there's been some kind of stagnance or dormancy in your life, that that's going to melt away and give life or give um, or add to the new beginning uh, that you're going to have. So this is really, for me, the way in which I'm reading this card at the moment, what the energy that I'm picking up from it. I think if I had to read it at a different time, it would have a completely different energy. But right now, as I pick it up, I see that there is springtime in this and there's a kind of a leaving behind that which was hard, that which was, that which was difficult and being able to take advantage of opportunities that lie ahead of you uh, at this moment and to be able to move forward with that. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's a very short reading, but I think that's about all there is to say there. I just, uh, perhaps there is one more thing. There might be a more than one uh, opportunity or more than way you might need to make a decision to go in one way or the other. I would say try to choose a decision that would, that looks on the surface as being uh, fruitful and abundant as opposed to something that you feel obligated to do or you feel that you need to do that because it's re the responsible thing to do uh, because that isn't going to lead you into more of the same that you might have had already and it's now, now time to branch out in a different way and do something different something that you wouldn't have done before and to take to take that opportunity as you go ahead all right so i'm leaving you with that i hope that has been helpful and wishing you all a brilliant new year and uh, many blessings with that. And for those of you who've chosen the second option here, uh, we are asking, what is the weekly Oracle card guidance? And we have the card Mugwort. Hmm. So that's really interesting. It This card gives me very much an autumn feel. It gives me the sense of the sun setting on something. Um, and a sense of uh, there being magic, where magic is desired, or where there is need for change, where there's a desperate, deep urge for change, that change can be effected, that change can come into being, and that's simply by your willpower. I feel here that there's a lot of energy that's... Um, kind of um, available to you for your needs it feels like a very rich time for you a very bun abundant time for you it's like the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want with this energy there's a great sense of peace and calm and tranquility and with that a great deal of power which is available to you to be able to create whatever it is that you desire. And, you know, what I'm saying is something that is usually available to everyone at any moment. But it seems like that's the message here for you, that this is what's available to you. And you are easily able to manipulate the world uh, according to what you desire at this moment, meaning that you can manifest whatever it is that you need at this moment. There is magic in there. There's some kind of magic available to you in this week as you go along. I would say that if you are to, in this week as you were to go along, what would be, what would be, um, the best way to use this energy is to sit down and think about how, as, uh, how you'd like your year to be and how you'd like to it to manifest, how you'd like it to unravel and imagine it in great detail so that you have an idea of how you want things to go ahead and then let it go after that. Just let it release from you and let it be only in that moment. So, you know, if you could meditate perhaps with this card, with this image, and sit there in front of this lake and meditate um, with all the energy that's around you because it feels to me that in this card the elements there are magical and that it is giving power and support uh, to you and so if you can do a meditation where you are using the elements as presented in this card and simply just sit there and envisage your future or what you wish for the world what you wish for your family for yourself uh, for your work um yeah for your finances whatever it is that you desire 
And so I think that as you go along in this week, there's a lot of magic at your at your fingertips and there's a lot of opportunity for you to be able to create what it is that you desire and the opportunity is not something that's being offered to you it's not like an offering that's being made to you like it was in the previous card but it's more like um like you need to create that and that you have everything already and you just need to be able to create what it is that you desire and uh, it's it's really up to you in which direction you want to go to and how you paint your future, how you create your future. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I think that that's going to be quite a wonderful week for you and you can really make the best of it by visualizing, making wishes and uh, yeah, just ensuring that you wish for the better for you as well as all others around you. All right. Leaving it there. Many blessings to you all. So for you, those of you who have chosen the third option here, we're asking what is the weekly oracle card guidance? Whoops, that was fallen out. Let's take a look at what that is. So it's barrage, barrage. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen the third option here, we have the card barrage. What is this here? Just a bit of dust so um yeah this card it just it feels to me like you very much within you or you're already even though it's just the beginning it feels to me like it's uh it's like you on your way to something like you've already made a lot of headway you're on your way to something um there's a blossoming uh of something you might it might be that you have a different rhythm um and and things are kind of you know coming to an end of a cycle for you and uh, that uh, cycle may be ending around March or April and then you will have your new beginning it feels to me like you are um, kind of um, uh, um, what is the word like you're capitalizing on all that you have and that uh, you have you are, there's quite a very settled feel here uh, for what what you have it's like you're very settled you you have given birth to something you've 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 gained the fruit from it you are in the stage where things are working out really well and it doesn't seem to me it's quite a different energy from the last two cards where that was very much like a new year energy whereas this one is like very much like a settled energy it's about reaping the fruits of your hard work and what you've put into things until now and being able to just um, take a pause in that moment to understand what you've done until now and how it is that you will go ahead but not so much of emphasis on the past or the future but simply enjoying what it is that you have created for yourself already i think here also there's a feeling of having um a clear sense of what is yours and what is not yours so having good boundaries with possessions uh with property with uh with money uh, with finances and that kind of thing, with possessions, with material possessions, and um, and also understanding very clearly what is yours. And also there's a sense of being satisfied, being truly satisfied with what it is that you have and not wishing or you're longing for something more that you have. And I feel that even if you have been longing for something else for a long time, uh, if you just spend this week being very satisfied with what you have, available that you might find that some new possibilities might arise just after this week so i would say around the middle and the end of the middle of um of january like towards the say the 19th 20th 18th 20th 19th 20th you're going to find that uh, things really step up for you now if you're not watching this when i've posted it you're watching this at some other point then i would say give it about 10 days and you're going to find that the energy has shifted for you and that you're going to find that things are moving along in a different way um, in a way that's flourishing and active again but right now I feel there's a moment of stillness where you can simply appreciate what it is that you have and being able to understand the abundance that is available to you and 
recognizing and acknowledging the hard work that you've put in in order to get to this point and also having when we, with the, doing that being able to secure your boundaries secure your your possessions and 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 be happy with what it is that you have how little it may be how big it may be but there's simply a sense of being being gratitude in satisfaction and fulfillment here and this is going to give you a more um it's almost like a medicine it's almost like it's going to give you the medicine to have more to feel better to feel healthier as you go along all right so i'm going to leave it at that i hope that that message has been helpful for you and i hope that you yeah i wish you all a very good year as you go along may you have a fabulous 2022 and all the best for all of what you have been um you have to do in your life right now and good luck with everything that is in your path and all the challenges that you will be facing in the year ahead um, many many blessings to you all and much love and blessings abound from kismet rising